have been done. Lists have been checked off. Gotta love our check sheet. Thanks, bro. And just like that, we depart Bethany Camp. Headed for a little place called Pokhara. No, not Pokhara. Pohara. There's an NZMCA park there. The weather's not the best, as you can see. The ground's quite wet. So, um, at least it's only showers, but only a high today of 10 degrees. So, mmm. A little bit nippy, but all good. Bethany Camp. Camp Saver fee on um, NZMCA for winter, brilliant, brilliant facilities, would recommend it, nice and sheltered. Of course there's always that last pre-departure job that you have to do when there is a dump station handy. Poor Scotty, he gets to do the toilet. They all have those jobs we don't enjoy. <laughs> 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 At least it was it, it's only number ones this time. Oh, no, luckily. <laughs> no lumpy bits. So my ears are popping so I know that we're climbing and we are climbing at the moment up and over the Takaka Hill. So plenty of twists and bends and driving up into the clouds pretty much on a bit of a wet day. in the clouds. So Pohara, can't blame you if you'd never heard of it before because I haven't really. It's a little settlement um, in the Abel Tasman. Um, on the way to Totranui which is also on the coast, that was going to be our destination but the weather is looking a little bit dodgy. We've had some rain and we have been on that road before in a 45 seater bus and I'm still mentally scarred from the experience so um, we decided to stop at Pohara another reason being is that the NZMCA do have their own camp here and um, that only cost us six dollars a night and the camp at Totranui is a dock camp and we don't yet have our dock passes for the year so that was going to cost us $26 a night to go and stay out at Totranui so we might just go there and do a bit of a day trip. We've done our arrival um, set up and lovely spot looking out over the boats that are moored. Scotty's going to put the back window cover up so that we can see. <laughs> yeah good good hint what what made you think of doing that? <laughs> Eesh. Um, so that's our, our view for the next couple of nights. It's a lovely spot. Very happy. So, the jug's on. I think it's lunchtime. <laughs> Springs. <laughs> or oh, as I think we... when we go back to the spine, I think you need to practice that way. <laughs> so as what we always call them is poo poo springs. And they are known to be the clearest spring water in the world. I will just Google that to make sure, but that's where they used to be known as the clearest spring water in the world, and I think they still are. So we're just outside of Takaka. As you saw previously, we're all parked up at Pohara, and we've just come for a drive in, have a look around Takaka, and walk to the Pupu Springs. Which is about 10 minutes out of Takaka. Yes, right. about a 10 minute drive out of Takaka. 
Here we go. Te wai koro pupu. Te wai koro pupu. You did well. Pupu Springs is what we call it. Oh. Wow, gosh, this has definitely changed since the last time we were here. This was not, all this walkway and all this was not here. It was all quite overgrown. Oh my gosh, look at it. After reading a signboard at the start of the walk, I can confirm that it is, it is amongst the purest water in the world. Not the purest, but amongst the purest in the world. And the water quality has remained stable for 22 years. a day trip from where we're camped at Pohara into Totranui. Totranui is the end of the road on this, this arm of the Abel Tasman and um, we're a little bit mentally scarred from the road into Totranui because back in our bus tour coach days um, Scotty brought a 45 seater coach into Totranui to pick me and our 45 senior citizens up off a boat and um, going out, it was quite hair raising, and that was back in 1997. So I can still vividly remember the road, but they have done such a lot of work, and it would have been easy to bring the caravan in here. So, anyway, um, the road was really good, and it's just such a beautiful spot. So, we're just going to walk a part of the Abel Tasman um, Trail. Uh, we just probably might go for an hour or two in and then out again, but oh man, what a spot! Just a little bit of evidence of the road. I think you could quite easily say that the ranger has now been broken in. It dirt on it. Yeah, it's no longer looking new. Looking a bit sad. Hello. Hello. You do get fed. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks he's getting fed, no wonder he got bit. Oh, a sharp beak.
made it to Goat Bay up and over a very big hill I have to say pretty wet slippery conditions but hey it is winter but they are they've maintained the track beautifully thought we'd take a little drive into Awaroa which is the next bay along from Totranui and it's at times like this you read a sign like that hopefully you can see it buses and camper vans towing vehicles not recommended past this point I think it's good that we've left the caravan where it is Stopping off to go for a walk to the Wainui Falls. Got a 2k walk in. And we'll go and see ourselves a waterfall. <laughs> 